are going to be reviewing this Stranger Things um, Surfer Boy Pizza Bluetooth Radio. Uh, this is a Walmart exclusive. Um, took me a while to find this. I was actually looking for the other one. There was one that released last year, um, and it, it had a few things that I thought was pretty cool. I haven't been able to find it, but I found this one. And I noticed that since there wasn't any reviews on it, I decided I'm going to go ahead and do one for it. Now, I've never done reviews, uh, so I just figured I'd just show this to the people that are wondering, um, you know, what this has. Here's a close-up of the barcode if you want to go ahead and take a picture of that, see if you can find it. Again, this is a Walmart exclusive. Um, <clears throat> so I've already cut the tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And I can heard a few things in here rattling around, which this is what they are. I'll go ahead and pull all this out first. So looks like you get a couple of pins. You get this one. You're also getting a Stranger Things pin, which that one's pretty cool. And then you're getting a. Um, Looks like a surfer boy, surfer boy pizza. Looks pretty cool. Let's see if I can get you a good look at that. It's a surfer boy pizza pen. It also comes with a red bandana, which I think that's pretty cool. You also get a uh, surfer boy pizza menu. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Shows all the um, items. You know, they also have the uh, pizza at Walmart, too, if you um, want to try it. It's actually really good. Um, my kids love it. I love it. It's really good. You also get uh, Employee of the Month, Argyle. Um, so that's that's pretty cool, too. Uh, he's a new new guy that was added this year. Um, I like his character. And then you also get a couple of um, Stranger Things stickers. Um, Surfer Boy pizza sticker. You get the um, palm tree Stranger Things. And you get the um, Surfer Boy delivered hot to your door with the phone number and everything. And you got that sticker as well. So these you can put on your, on the uh, radio. So let me go ahead and put everything back in. And here's the radio itself. So it's actually quite small, but it's actually pretty cool. So comes with a, um, an adapter. Oh, okay. so. That's pretty cool. It comes with an adapter where you can just um, plug it into the wall. That's a pretty good feature in case you just want to have it sit next to your, you know, next to your bed or something. Oh, cool look. You got your instruction manual here. <clears throat> Most of us don't look at the manual. <laughs> a lot of us just kind of turn it on, connect it to Bluetooth and work with it, right? So here we go. As you can see, it's quite small. But, um, so you have all these. You got the radio off uh, tape, radio. So it's got a radio on it, um, FM, FM, AM. And you got these. But, oh, so it actually has a cassette player. You see, I... I wasn't sure about that. I thought that this was just a a, a um, Bluetooth player, but it's called it's, it has a cassette player. Now I don't have any cassettes, but it's actually pretty cool. I know the first one that that released last year. I think it came with a cassette with some um, maybe a recording on it. I I honestly don't know because again I have not seen it. You have your antenna, it's your old school antenna pulls up so you can carry it around it only comes in the blue color and you got the tuning right here 
Now you got the volume up and down. You even have the um, headset. You can plug in your head headphones if you just want to go old school. There's the uh, there's where the adapter goes. Plug it in there. Then you got your uh, let me see. And it takes batteries. It takes I would say I guess it's C C size batteries. So that's where the batteries go. So unfortunately i guess it doesn't charge but i guess you know it's old school so in the 80s we didn't have chargeable radios so i guess they're just trying to keep the uh, old school momentum going um 80 style i mean it would make sense um you know you you could either plug it in put the batteries in there it doesn't charge so as you can see it's not rechargeable uh, so you just put the normal batteries in and take it around uh, like normal or just plug it in. Um, although in the 80s, we didn't have Bluetooth now, did we? Um, let me see here. I might be mistaken. It is. Oh, no, it is Bluetooth. There's Bluetooth right there. So, so that takes a little bit of the momentum away, but you know, we all love Bluetooth. I love Bluetooth. I, I, as a matter of fact, that's a plus, you know, because I don't, I don't have a cassette, so there's no other way I would be using this thing besides the radio. And not many people listen to the radio. Um, so I guess uh, you got to turn it on. So basically, what I'll do is I got to plug this, plug this baby in, and um, get it working. But. Um, Anyways, I just thought I'd do a um, quick review of it. Uh, looks looks like it's a really good, good little radio. I like it so far. I'm gonna test it out here in a little bit. But you got your old school dial where you can just change the, um, you know, change the radio station. You know, all old school. And I love the feel. It's got a good, nice feel to it. It doesn't feel cheap. Um, all these buttons seem to, you know, seem to work well. You got your fast forward, your play, your rewind, your um, stop your eject again you got your am fm you got your um your um off tape and radio oh and there goes a bluetooth you can barely see it's right there bluetooth so i guess you take it all the way over there and then um that's when you're going to do the uh bluetooth so yeah i'll go ahead and check this out in a little bit um, I did not know it came with an adapter and it didn't and it wasn't, you know, going to be um, something that you can charge because unfortunately I don't have batteries right here and um, um, I didn't post this, you know, near um, near a wall plug. It's kind of behind me and I have a um, pretty big collection. I'm a toy collector, so um, it's kind of sitting back here behind all this stuff, so. <laughs> it'll take a little bit to get it all plugged in so um anyways there you have it the um stranger things season four surfer boy pizza um crosley bluetooth radio um oh and remember it also comes with these um with these cool stickers that i showed you guys a little while ago so um the stickers put it on the radio and stuff like that so kind of what it shows on the um on the package in here put stickers on it and stuff make it look pretty cool so i don't know i may i may not do that i don't know yet but anyways there it is there you have it um these things are hard to find right now but um i did show you the barcode I'll show it to you one more time in case you didn't get it the first time. But there goes the barcode right there. It is a Walmart exclusive. Uh, see if you can get it at Walmart. I know I um, I searched it up and I actually um, wasn't able to find it. Um, a lot of a lot of uh, people have been looking for it. Um, guy at, at um, Walmart actually looked it up and found it and told me where to find it and that's what i did so anyways there you have it i uh, hope you enjoy hope you're able to find you one um if i had a link i'd, I'd give it to you but i don't uh, but i hope you're able to find you one and um enjoy thanks for watching